starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Miss Hazlitt says it's a golden rule, Lassie. You know what it means? Well, it means if you do something to somebody, you know, if somebody does something, oh, come on, Lassie, let's take it to Mom. It's a golden rule. A nicer rule was never written. What does it mean? Oh, to do nice things for people and to treat them in a kindly way. A way that you'd want them to act towards you. You mean, like if I did something nice for somebody, they'd do something nice for me? Well, um, not exactly. Uh, here's what it means. If... <laughs> Good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Sam Snow, and I was wondering if by any stroke of good fortune your barn might be for rent. Barn for rent? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm afraid it isn't. Well, that's too bad. You see, I have an entry for the feature trotters race at the fair, but I had a little car trouble and was late getting here. Found every stable at the grounds taken. Oh, I'm sorry. I do have to find some place to keep my horses. You're my fifth stop. Well, have you tried the Parkers? They turned me down. I assure you, we'll be no trouble at all, and we'll only be here a short time. Well, that would be my husband's decision, and he's not here right now. I see. Well, uh, would it be any trouble to you if I watered my horses? They've been in the trailer most of the day. Yes, of course. There's a water faucet right over there. Thanks. You've been very kind. <laughs> Pretty horse. Howdy, Sonny. Hi. Is this really a racehorse? Well, that horse is the fastest thing on four legs. Gosh. Yes, sir. By all odds, the future winner of the big race at the county fair. Gee, what's his name? Big boy. My name is Sam Snow, and I'm hoping your father will let me rent your barn. I'm Timmy Martin. And that's Lassie. And I hope my dad will rent you our barn, too. Amen. Say, uh, I was just going to water, big boy. Like to give me a hand? Sure would. Fine. Nice and easy, luck, boy. That's it. Take it easy, boy. Look at that confirmation. Did you ever see a finer looking animal? Well. That's a mighty fine looking canine you got there. Trotter or pacer? Both. What's a pacer? I, uh, a sidewinder. That's because he races by moving two legs on the same side at the same time. Oh, Lassie's faster because she moves all her legs at the same time. <laughs> Here, you like to hold them for me? I sure would. All uh, right. All right, Lazy Joe. Back up now. Uh, there you are. That 
one's got nice formation, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is Lazy Joe. He's what we call a loafer, just not interested in racing. On a farm, we can't keep animals that don't turn their feed. Well, I can't afford to keep Lazy Joe either, son. I bought her for my wife. Mrs. Snow loved this horse. I could never give Lazy Joe up. Look! Lassie and Lazy Joe like each other. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. But if they ever get into a match race at six to an even, your dog will win in a war. <laughs> Mrs. Martin, that's the finest meal I've had in months. We eat like this all the time, Mr. Snow. Have things been kind of rough for you? <laughs> Mr. Martin, I've been racing horses a good many years. It's been feast of famine all that time, with famine out ahead by a good 20 lengths. <laughs> but from now on, I'm through with racing. But I thought you said Big Boy was going to win the big race. I did, Timmy, and he is. But this is the last one. You know, I spent just about every dime I had to buy, big boy. Just kept enough for the entry fee. I aimed to use the prize money to set myself up as a trainer and breeder. So you see, Timmy, big boy has just got to win. I sure hope he does. He will, Timmy. He will. Mr. Snow? Yes, son? Now that Dad's letting you use our barn, could you get his passes to the big race? Oh, Timmy. Timmy. Well, if we don't let people know we're using the golden rule, how will they know to use two? <laughs> That's all right, ma'am. As a matter of fact, the way things are now, getting your passes is about all I can do. <laughs> Gosh, thanks, Mr. Snow. So you see, a good deed isn't a good deed at all if you talk about it. Then how will anybody ever know? It's not necessary that they do. There are two things to remember about the golden rule. First of all, if everybody practiced it, the world would be a better place to live in. And secondly, when you do nice things for other people, and we not only make them happy, but we make ourselves happy too. I see. Now, good night. Night. Good night to you too, Lassie. See you both in the morning. All right, Mom. Here, boy, boy. Have a bite of your carrot. Morning, Timmy. Morning, Mr. Snow. Are you going to the fairgrounds? Oh, no. Only the training track. Oh, what are you going to do there? Oh, uh, exercise Big Boy till he's nice and warm. And then let him out just as hard as he can go. Boy, aren't you going to take Lazy Joe? Oh, no. You can turn him out into your pasture. He's been fed. Can Lassie and I play with him? Well, sure. You're welcome to do anything with him you can persuade him to do. And good luck to you, Timmy. Come on, Lassie. Maybe if we take Lazy Joe out to the field, we can have a race of our own. Mr. Snow was right. He's the laziest horse I ever saw. <laughs> We might as well go to the house. We're not having any fun with him. Come on, Lassie. Thank <laughs> you. 
boy, that sure was fun. Day. Big boy came up lame after the second lap. Oh, no. How bad is it? I don't know. Well, shouldn't you have a vet? I haven't any money. You put big boy in the barn. I'll call Doc Weaver. Last hope is gone. I guess I'm finished. Say, what have I got to lose? Yippee! Yippee! Uh -uh. Now, don't you go setting your hopes too high, Timmy. Personally, uh, I have no confidence in Lazy Joe. Well, uh, good night. Good night, Sam. Good, good night. Visiting the patient? Uh-huh. After we brought Lazy Joe back from the field. Choo! Oh, bless you. Achoo! Bless you. Thank you. Um, I need a handkerchief. See if we can't make you feel even better. Now I want you to take off your clothes and get into bed. I'll really be sick if I have to take all that stuff you're gonna give me. Well, the sooner you take it, the better you'll feel. And then I won't be able to go to the fair and help, I mean, and watch Lazy Joe win the race. Well, if you don't take all that stuff, the chances are you won't be able to go to the fair anyway. Come on now. I'm gonna make you some orange juice and I'll bring you a cold pill. We've got to help Lazy Joe win that race. What'll happen to Mr. Snow if he doesn't? There's only one solution. I'll have to cooperate. Sorry we have to leave you, boy. Lazy Joe's our last and only chance. So we don't have any choice. But we'll be back. Don't you worry about that. The thing is... Don't you leave us. But enough of that kind of talk. <laughs> We're going to go right on believing you're going to be with us for a long, long time. Yes, sir. All right, Dixon Joe. Back up now. Back up, boy. Come on, back up. Let's get going. Come on. Let's go. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Jack. How are you this morning? Go to the fair. I feel fine. I don't even have a little cold. Whoa, let's simmer down a minute now. We'll have to wait and see what your mother says. Says about what? Feel, Mom. See? 
I don't have a cold. I don't have anything. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Oh, you know, I think he's all right. He probably cured himself. And he made an invalid out of me. Are we going? Are we, please? Yes, of course. Gee, thanks, Mom. Hi, Sam. Hello, Mr. Snow. Well, hello, folks. Mighty good to see you. Don't worry, Lazy Joe. You'll win. Warning. Oh, this is going to be a terrible thing to watch. But, well, there's no use you sitting here on the morning's bench with me. Why don't you run along and enjoy yourselves while you got the chance? Well, good luck, Sam. Thank you. Bye-bye. Come on along, Timmy. You'll see, Mr. Snow. Lazy Joe is going to win. Why, sure, Timmy. Sure. <laughs> The next event will be the feature race of the meet. The Breeders Open with $10,000 added. This event will include some of the best known trotters in the country. Post time in five minutes. Drivers, take one more turn. Watch your mare, George. 30 seconds. The horses are approaching the wire. And they're off. Come on, come on, boy. There's Lazy Joe, Lassie. Go get him, Greg. Go get him. Timmy, now that Big Boy doesn't have to be put away, I've got my training quarters to set up. Well, we're sorry to see you go, Sam, but we couldn't be happier about your good fortune. Oh, it couldn't happen to a nicer person. Well, it's you folks and Lassie who made it possible. And I want you to know I'll never be able to thank you enough. Oh, by the way, Lassie, I've got a little something for you. It's the trophy. You're right, Timmy. I want you all to have it so you'll always remember a very grateful man who could never repay your kindness in money. Besides, <laughs> it belongs to Lassie. She really won the race. Here you are, Timmy. Goodbye, Mrs. Martin. Goodbye, Mr. Snow. Goodbye, Sam. Timmy, 
Bye. Bye. You too, Lassie. <laughs> You're the only dog in the world that has a trophy for winning a horse race. Mom? Yes? Doing unto others is a lot of fun. Oh.